Hey dolls! Okay, so I am actually teaming up with Alexis, my bestest friend Alexis here on YouTube, and we are actually doing a collab. This is the throwback tag, but we kind of decided to just team up and do it because we are different ages, so we thought it might be a little bit interesting to kind of, you know, just see the different variety and everything like the different kids shows that you liked and the different toys and everything like that so you guys ready to see some pictures of me little okay then so um it's just a list of i believe 14 questions i oh 15 questions i have them right here on my phone so i'm just gonna go ahead and get into this number one is what year were you born in i was born in 1992 um, number two. Okay, number two. Do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger? If you do, show them. Okay, so last night, <coughs> my family has always been really, really big on taking pictures. So last night, I actually went through a stack of pictures about this big, <coughs> narrowing it down to the ones that I wanted to show you guys. But, um, okay, so I have a lot of pictures here. I actually have a ton of pictures here, but if you guys like these, let me know. I can do a whole video on just like a slideshow of all these pictures or something if you want. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and start off. The first picture right here I'm going to show you is I believe I was about five. And my best friend at the time and I had gone to go to Target because Barbie was going to be there. And y'all know I'm obsessed. So, um, I was obsessed at that age. But so we went to go see Barbie. And when we got there, it wasn't even like... A blonde Barbie. She was like fat and she had brown hair and it was just a crazy 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 but there is me right there in my little Lion King shirt and there's the Barbie that was supposed to be Barbie and my best friends over there but she was there and she signed the pictures with her autograph or whatever and we still have the I still have the picture to this day um, that she signed for me but it was so embarrassing and this was in 98 so I was six in this picture so yeah <laughs> very kind of embarrassing but I don't know I, I love this picture I cherish this picture because it's so cute I had a love for Barbie when I was way young <coughs> all right the next picture that I want to show you guys is actually from <coughs> I believe this was my sixth or seventh birthday but it's a picture of me and my best friend at the time <coughs> excuse me still getting over being sick uh, it was my me and my best friend at the time but um we're not really friends anymore we don't really talk anymore but this is at one of my parties blowing out my cake so there's me right there and there's my friend you can see I was short even then and you can see the little nightgown that my best friend has on it's Barbie and yes I looked like a little boy when I was younger I know but there's me blowing out my cake <laughs> And then, let's see, next one right here. This was one of the days that I was getting ready for church. This was in 1999. Here I am, all dressed up and cute. Yes, I know, I'm very white. You can barely see me. I don't know if you can even see my little face. But I actually look like a girl in this picture. It was hard to find a picture where I actually looked like a girl. But there's me. <laughs> and I, I was seven in that picture. This one right... Oh, I'll tell that one, that story later. <laughs> um... But, oh, this was in kindergarten with Santa. How old school is this? It's a Polaroid picture. I remember when Santa came to our classroom, and we each got a picture with him. And, yeah, Santa terrified me when I was younger. I'm not even going to lie. He terrified me. And then this picture right here, I believe, was in fourth grade, um, or maybe fifth grade. Uh, <laughs> my grandparents actually came with me to class so this is my little desk right here and there's my grandpa and my grandma and my grandpa actually passed away um, I think it was a year or so ago and then my grandma's still alive and kicking today but they came to my school for grandparents day so I have this and I love it so much <coughs> excuse me and then I have one more picture that I'm gonna show you guys this is kind of embarrassing and she might get mad at me for showing this but I don't even care um, this is me and Beldo 117 here on YouTube she's actually my niece so um here's the two of us this was in oh there's no date on this one. Oh yes there is this was in 2000 so I believe but there's me look at me look at oh my goodness oh my gosh okay and then there's Beldo right there. She's all little and so cute. And we were like dancing in the kitchen, but just <laughs> so cute. So cute. But anyway, so there are the pictures from, oh, 
Yes, okay. So there are the pictures from my little childhood. Okay, and the next question is, what TV shows did you grow up watching? I loved Nickelodeon. I loved Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I loved um, Disney as well. I loved Disney Channel. My favorite, favorite, favorite show of all time growing up was Lizzie McGuire. Yes, I wanted to be just like her and... Oh my gosh, I wore my hair like her all the time, and I dressed like her all the time at school, and my friends were jealous of me because I looked like her, and oh my goodness, I just, I saw all of the episodes and all of the movies, I own all of the movies, I own all the episodes, because my mom used to work at a video store, so she got all the episodes on tape for me for Christmas and stuff, and oh my goodness, I was obsessed with Lizzie McGuire, so that was definitely like my one favorite, favorite, favorite show growing up. I also watched Barney when I was little. I did. I loved Barney, and I still don't really have a lot of hate towards Barney. Um, another one that I watched all the time was Little Bear. It was on Nickelodeon, and I loved it so much. Oh my gosh, I still love Little Bear. I have a Little Bear plushie. I just don't really know where he is, but I know I have him in my possession. I just have to find him. <laughs> but yeah, so those are some of the shows that I watched. I don't... I can't remember all of them right now, but oh, and My Little Pony, the original My Little Pony. Yes, definitely. Um, let's see, number four. What did you want to be when you grow, what did you want to be when you grew up and do you still want to be that? When I was younger, I really, really wanted to be a veterinarian and then I went through a period where I wanted to be a dog groomer and <laughs> now I'm looking back and I'm just like, uh, you know, I've cut my dog's hair a few times, and I've trimmed his toenails and all that, and it's just, like, not glamorous to me. Like, I thought I would love it so much more, but now that I'm actually a grown woman and experiencing life and everything, I'm just like, you know, maybe not. Maybe animals aren't really my forte. I mean, I love pets. I have pets, but... I don't know. It's, it's crazy. It's so crazy to think about, but I am doing what I want to do. I am sitting here and making YouTubes for you guys. I just love it so much. Sorry I keep playing with my hair. It's being annoying today. Sorry. Okay. Um, show a video of yourself when you were younger. Okay. <coughs> so, I do have a video from when I was younger. I was about, um, I was almost two, I believe. And I'm going to go ahead and insert it. But before I do, I want to talk about it a little bit. Um, when I was 12 years old, my dad actually passed away. So, um, I do have a few pictures here that I want to show you guys of me and him together. Um, this one right here is on Easter of 1999, I believe is what the little date says. But there is me and my dad. So, I do, my family kept a lot of pictures and saved a lot of pictures, which I'm very, very thankful for. <coughs> This was our trip to Disneyland in 19, or, yeah, in 97, and I was in Mickey's car with my dad, and I have another little story to talk about with this later. Um, I think that's one of the questions, actually. I believe. But, um, I'll talk more about that later, like I said. So, I'm actually going to show you guys the video. It's of me actually, like, playing ball with my dad when I was almost two years old. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> my speedy. Hey, hey. What about is, um, uh, what were your favorite toys to play with? In this picture right here, you can see my dad opening one of my Chris, my birthday presents. Yeah, it was my birthday present. But it is a Barbie horse right there. 
and I loved Barbies and I loved ponies and I loved everything about the color pink. I was not a fan of dolls. The only type of dolls that I would play with were ponies and that was, er, ponies, were Barbies. My sister and I would set up little Barbie houses and we'd play Barbies all the time. So, um, yeah, there's, there's that. I was obsessed with ponies and Barbies from the get-go, as you guys can see. Uh, the next question is, um, what's the most embarrassing thing you can remember doing? Okay, well, I don't know if this is the most embarrassing thing I can remember doing, but this was in 1999, I believe, and my brother was over, and we had this green sheet, and he tied me up in it, and I was trying to get out and trying to get out, and I was just, like, moving all around the floor, tied up in this green sheet, and then from then on, my mom has just nicknamed me Flubber. Anyway, so, yes, when I was in the green sheet, my mom took it upon herself to take pictures of me as Flubber. So, there's my brother, and there's me wrapped up in the green sheet, flopping around, trying to get free, like a little idiot. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, my mom had to take that picture, so that's kind of embarrassing. But um, let's see here. Read something that you wrote when you were in kindergarten. Okay, so I have this little paper right here, and it actually has my name and my address and my phone number on it, so I'm actually going to fold that part down. But um, I could show you guys. It says, my eyes are dark brown and the color of my hair is light blonde. I wear a 12-size shoe. Um, some of my favorite colors are purple and blue. My favorite food is pizza, eggs, and fish. My favorite song is Bye 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 by NSYNC. My favorite TV program is Nickelodeon. Um, favorite school subject was math. My friends were Katie, Mallory, and Emily. Uh, the people who live at my house are me, my mom, my dad, my brother, and I didn't even mention my sister. My sister was living with me, but I didn't even mention her. Um, <laughs> and the, the things I like to do are draw and color, so you can see my little handwriting right there. Uh, it's so funny, but anyway, so I figured I'd share that. That was one of the few pages that I could find from kindergarten. <clears throat> um, let's see. Um... Three songs you love to listen to as a kid. Okay, I loved the um, Bye 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 by NSYNC. And then I also loved um, all the Britney Spears songs. I loved Oops, I Did It Again. And I loved, oh gosh, what was the other one? Not Oops, I Did It Again, but t -t 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 Crazy, maybe? I don't know. I used to dance around to them all the time in my room. And it was really, really, really funny. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see, number 10. What was one funny thing you dressed up as for Halloween when you were younger? The thing that I was for years and years and years was a Dalmatian dog. It was just ridiculous. <clears throat> number 11. Tell a funny story of something you remember hap happening when you were young. Um, okay, so when I was really young, I have a video of this too, but I couldn't find it. Um, <laughs> we would go camping every year, and every year that we would go camping, uh, we'd go to the same spot and everything, and there were, like, these rocks. Just these little rocks about, like, this big. And when I was about five or six, I would, you know, put on my little mountain hiking boots, and I would jump on top of one of those rocks, and I would be king of the mountain, or queen of the mountain, rather. And I was just so excited, and my mom and I called it rock climbing. And there's just this whole, like, 20 minute long video of me just standing on rocks and just being like, woo! And then my mom's like, woo, rock climbing on top of the world! Like, I don't know, I just, just random dorky little story that I just, I love. I love it. I love that memory so much. Um... Number 12, are there any special things you've kept from when you were a child? Yes, the one thing I've kept from when I was a child is this little stuffed animal. I know this thing is atrocious looking, but it's my baby. This is Leppy. Um, he is old and ratty, and his tail's come off numerous times. My mom had to sew it back on, and his arms, and his ears even, and he has gone through the wash so many times and still has yet not you know, gotten fully clean or anything because he's just so much wear and tear on him. He used to go everywhere with me all the time. And the reason I have kept him for this long, you guys say, well, get rid of him, he's ratty. But the reason I've kept him for this long is because I have memories with my dad with him. Um, <coughs> my sister and I actually got matching ones. I got the leopard and she got the tiger. I named mine Leppy. And my dad would always tease me and call it Lopey. 
and I would like, I'd be like, no, Dad, it's Lepi, it's not Lopi, and he'd always be like, I'm gonna get Lopi, I'm gonna get Lopi, and so, anyway, I just, I had to keep this little Lepi, and I, my, I sleep with him. He's in my bed every night. Is that weird? Is it weird I still sleep with stuffed animals? I hope not, but he's my little baby. I just love him so much. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Next question. Um, what's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? <coughs> well, like I said, when I was 12, my dad passed away and the police showed up at the door and told me that he had passed away. For those of you who want to know um, what happened, uh, he was on a business trip in Oregon and it was just a sudden heart attack. I'm not going to go into huge detail with this. If you want to know more about it or something, just personal message me. I'm okay with talking about it. I'm just not going to make this a huge, long, drawn out video about sad, depressing things. But, um, <coughs> anyway, um, anyway, yeah, the scariest thing that happened to me other than that was at our Disneyland trip, um, with my dad. I actually have another Disneyland picture right here that I forgot about. We went to Universal Studios, and there's me with Woody Woodpecker. I love this picture. It's so cute. He's my favorite. But, um, and that was in 97. But anyway, my dad was a smoker. He smoked cigarettes. And when we were in Disneyland, <coughs> I was about four years old, and I remember this so, so well. Um, I was just sitting there bouncing around, and we were getting something to eat at one of the restaurants or something, and my dad was smoking a cigarette, and he had a cigarette down by his side. And I remember bumping it with my ear, and the cigarette burned my ear. It wasn't at all my dad's fault. It was my own stupidity for jumping around like a freaking maniac. But I remember that, and I was terrified. I was just like screaming bloody murder because it hurt so bad. And it was it was really, really scary. And also, Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, terrified. Mm, that was very, very scary as well. Okay, um, let's see. Last question. How is the world now different from how it was like when you were a child. Things have changed so much. Oh my goodness. I really, really miss being a child because I miss being so ignorant. Um, I miss not knowing, you know, about taxes or about <clears throat> politics. It's just like there's so much stuff that is just like I wish I was still a kid and didn't have to worry about any of this stuff. Like as glorious as love is, it's very very complicated sometimes and it's hard to maintain a relationship at some points because you have different opinions with people and it's it's tricky. It's a tricky world out there and as far as like the electronics. Okay, when I was younger and growing up, I went outside and shot marbles on the cement or I would go outside and kick a soccer ball around with my dad or fly a kite or you know play jacks you know like those little ones where you bounce the ball and try to see how many jacks you could pick up or hopscotch or jump rope or all kinds of that just active stuff and now with electronics kids are just like you know when I was younger being sent to your room was a punishment and it's sad to say that nowadays a ch child being sent to their room is like a privilege because then they get to listen to the radio and they get to play on their phone and they get to do all this and it's just like yeah the parent could take that away but still it's just like kids are so much more reclusive than what they used to be um it's really actually sad oh one game that I remember playing was Red Rover yeah if you remember that game comment below and just let me know if you ever played it um but yeah, or if you still play it. I know some, some schools still do it for, like, PE classes. We used to do it at PE until someone got very badly injured, so we weren't allowed to do it anymore. But, um, anyway, yeah, the world has completely and totally changed from what I remember it when I was younger. And growing up, it's like you're seeing through different eyes. It's really, really crazy. And so... Yeah, that's actually, I think, going to wrap it up for this video. Everyone needs to go check out my friend Alexis here on YouTube. I will post the link to her channel in the description box below. She says hey to you guys, or hi to you guys. Um, if you want to see her video of what all of her answers to the questions are and to see a couple pictures of her when she was younger and everything, go ahead and I will post the link to her video in the description box. You're more than welcome to go click on it and check her channel out and just, you know, subscribe to her. She's really, really Really amazing. I'm so thankful to have met her through YouTube and she's kind of like a little sister to me more than a best friend. So um, love you Alexis and to all my subbies thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I tag you all to do this. If you do this tag I want to see pictures of when you were little and um, yeah go ahead and post it as a, vid video, bleh, a video response and I will talk to you all next time. All right bye!